Uh, I shall uh, begin a little speech, but it will not be very long. Uh, it is just to make an introduction. The actual content of the workshop uh, should be held uh, around the table. It will be easier for us uh, to share the hardware. But uh, we can make a little record in order to give pointers for people who want to attend uh, the beginning of the workshop uh, by video. Then, uh, first, I shall talk about a uh, little distribution which is held on a USB thumb drive, and I shall show how to use it. First, uh, this uh, little thumb drive was designed to be used by French students but it can uh, be used by other nationalities. We can localize some details. So I plugged it in, and at some time, maybe, I will be able to see the contents. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, no, that is conf clerk. Uh, here is it. So, I have uh, two directories, two main points. One is named Knopix, because the distribution is based on Knopix. And uh, I shall make a little modification. I go to the directory named boot, then syslinux, and then open and edit the file syslinux.cfg, this one. Uh, GNU. GNU is a good editor. So, uh, here is the definition of the keyboard. I shall comment it out. So, by default, the keyboard will be uh, an English keyboard. Uh, later on, I shall search language settings. Here is same language setting. I don't know. Uh, do you see the cursor? You see lang equals fr. So I shall modify it. Each lang equals fr should be changed to lang equals en. Everyone. That's done. And saved. So now when I shall boot uh, from this USB stick, I shall have uh, the English environment. Uh, when I explain how to do it to my students, uh, they are told uh, just to uh, boot with the stick plugged in the computer. Uh, then it depends on the computer. This one has been set so the USB stick is uh, immediately detected. Uh, I just use a narrow key in order to prevent uh, the automatic boot. Uh, you can modify the boot parameters here. Uh, maybe you see uh, the line with long equals en. It is the line we modified. So if I type enter, uh, the boot will be the default boot we defined. The environment uh, detects Wi-Fi signals and also uh, wired Ethernet signals, so I shall try uh, the, US, the Ethernet cable here. Here is it. So the boot time is uh, roughly one minute with this old machine, which is uh, five years old, which is quite surprising for people who are using Windows and are used to wait five minutes before doing anything. It will be a little longer because I must set up uh, the two screens, my screen and the screen 
of the beamer. So that's it. I can begin working, but I must uh, change the output. So, my view. Um, uh huh. Should be al almost done. Yes, done. So, you see a photo of uh, my school's main entrance. Uh, this uh, picture was awarded, uh, the author of this picture was awarded uh, Glory. Uh, she is a student of my school who will pass uh, her baccalaureate uh, this year. Then, uh, when we shall begin the real workshop, uh, we shall uh, use mainly uh, the electronic parts, or the educational part, or the programming part. Uh, each of these three parts uh, has many applications. Uh, as I told you, the internet access was granted without a problem. So, I shall try to show you a few uh, links to use full information. Uh, first information will be about a uh, hardware box, uh, which is quite inexpensive. It is uh, sold in India, and the public price is 3,000 rupees. Uh, I don't know how to... Uh, I don't know the rates exchange with uh, Taiwan dollars, but uh, as far as I know, it is the less expensive uh, system uh, to do physical measurements and which can emulate a uh, four-channel oscilloscope. So first, the link. Just search expires. And here is it. There is now quite a lot of uh, explanation in video format, etc. So, uh, to summarize it, it's a tool for learning science and you can experiment. Uh, when you buy uh, the kit, it comes uh, with uh, some uh, components, uh, magnets. Uh, oh, there is a strong magnet here in, uh, because of the microphone is ticked on it. Uh, microphones, uh, condenser, resistances, oh, uh, resistors, excuse me, uh, and many things. So you can do uh, approximately uh, 50 experiments which are uh, described in the booklet. Uh, however, it is like a uh, construction kit. Uh, you can make the 50 experiments and then uh, you can just invent. So, this is the first useful link. The second one uh, should be USB dot free deck. Oh, yes, English keyboard. Uh, that is, so, USB. Uh, dot, is it a dot? Oh, no, it's not a dot. How strange. <laughs> I, I shall uh, use a French keyboard. Uh, so it's not load keys. Uh, in graphic, uh, it should be uh, set X key, be map FR. Sorry, I shall use a French. Now I can find the dot. Uh, oh, uh, my uh, browser has a French preference, so uh, it began with the French page. 
let us go to the English translation. So you have uh, some contents here. And uh, you can find how to uh, download uh, this one. Yes, the keyword here should be Friduc uh, dash G Bart. Uh, Jean Bar is the name of my high school. Uh, so uh, maybe I must uh, click here. Here it is, but I must go to English. Okay, so how to get this pen drive? Browse this link. And here you should have, oh, the explanation are in French language. Sorry, I did not check that uh, the continuity for English language was not correct. Uh, en. Mm. Something is going wrong. So I shall make a translation. Téléchargement is download. So you download uh, this file, which is quite heavy, a uh, little less than four gigabytes. You d uncompress it with uh, G and zip, and then you transfer the data on a USB stick. Uh, this can be done with uh, uh, very simple commands uh, with Linux, and there is a recipe to do it with Windows. Uh, Windows user can uh, use the application Win32 a Disk Major. Uh, then, just for the record, I shall show what can be done uh, with this little box. Uh, this box contains a little computer and communicates with the main computer by a USB cable. So I plug it. The software is already installed in the computer. The software uh, is named ACE17 uh, because uh, this uh, little box is named ACE17. And I shall start the application. So, electronics or um, I have only the manual, so education. Here is it. Expise. 17. It is somewhat longer with a USB stick than with a hard disk, but here it comes. So, uh, yes, you are seeing it. Uh, maybe you are seeing a screen uh, which is much like a, a an oscilloscope screen. Uh, here, mm, that will be easier to show uh, when we will sit around the table. I just uh, have a wire which goes out the wave generator slot and another one which enters uh, input A1. And I shall undo uh, the contact and then just touch with my hands. Oh, something happens. But uh, that is weird. What can, it, what can it be? So I shall change the time base. The oh, I shall change the sensitivity. Here, hmm, how strange. Uh, do you see here, um, the amplitude uh, seems to be near uh, 0 0.05 volt 
and the frequency is 60 hertz. Oh, maybe I'm not in France. Maybe I'm in Taiwan, because uh, this is the main frequency. And uh, my corpse is influenced by uh, that lot of wires. But there are probably other frequencies. So let us have a Fourier transform. Here is it. Oh, the signal at uh, 60 hertz is very strong. Uh, there is no signal at 120, but there is one at 180. Hmm. Interesting. I shall not make a physical uh, explanation of this, but you see that not every harmonic, if you know what a harmonic means, are there. So, uh, this little box is very interesting. It cannot uh, have the same features as an oscilloscope because an oscilloscope uh, can go to a wider frequency range, but this is good for audio frequencies and it can go uh, up to uh, ultrasound frequencies. So it is quite useful to explain things uh, in high schools. Uh, as uh, this box is not uh, that expensive, uh, we can lend this box to students exactly as we can lend a book. It is uh, twice the price of a <coughs> excuse me, twice the price of an average book. Then a signal generator. Oh, the frequency is bigger. <coughs> and the signal is stronger. So here is it. I make another Fourier transform, and here you see there is a single frequency. So we can have uh, four different entries, but uh, to play with them, we should uh, make experiments with the small kit. So uh, the entries are not exactly uh, with the same status. Uh, A2 is quite as A1. A3 is a little different, uh, but the fourth one <coughs> must be uh, the microphone entry. The microphone entry is a microphone which is embedded in this little box and the uh, amplified output of the microphone is here on the box. So I shall unplug the wave generator, use the microphone uh, and uh, try to... Oh, I must activate the microphone here. Hello. Mm, nothing. I missed something, but I don't know what. Mm. Sorry, I missed something. Activate the channel. Maybe uh, when I activate uh, on the right side, it gives me uh, hints about the amplitude and about the frequency. Uh, but uh, the amplitude is not very significant and the frequency uh, would be very, very high. Uh, so I missed something, but I forgot uh, which I missed. Uh, I think it would be better now to stop uh, the video record. Uh, I just remind uh, the two important uh, the two important links. So one is usb.freduc.org, and the other one, the most important one, I think, is expies.en. Uh, I shall just have a look at uh, the packages. Um, maybe, yes, bigger. Uh, so, 
Apathy, Cage, Search, Expires. Oh, uh, this is my uh, USB stick and it was not updated, so um, I shall update it. So, uh, let us, uh, nature, make its work. And um, meanwhile, I shall uh, talk a little about the USB disk. The USB disk comes with the uh, read-only part. This read-only part contains all of the initial settings and all of the initial software. I can install uh, some software more, just using APT. I can do changes and I can save files. And if a student breaks everything, it is not a problem. You just need to wipe out uh, one partition and everything uh, begins exactly like it was at boot time, the first time you used the USB stick. So uh, this environment is very safe to use with students. I can also say to parents that uh, if a uh, child use the familiar computer with the stick, uh, no modification is made by default on the computer's uh, hard disk. Uh, this is interesting and many parents uh, like to know that uh, uh, the child is not supposed to make modification or to input viruses in uh, the family computer. So, uh, will be this last a long time? Finished. Oh, sorry. Uh, I did not uh, do the right command. Uh, I did not see the end. Okay. So here are uh, all the packages which are in Debian main about expires. So this one is uh, for uh, the former uh, format of this uh, measurement box. And the current one is that one, expires uh, 17 and there are document packages uh, to give the user manual. Currently, uh, the supported languages are English by default and French, but uh, translations are welcome. So this would be the end of the video record. Thank you.